So what was trending a lot last week, uh, especially on the news, was apparently about four years ago, there was a high school girl who didn't make the varsity cheerleading team. And she was really upset about it. So she, you know, after school hours, not on school property, I believe she got on Snapchat and just went on an F-bomb tangent, like like a, a freshman, sophomore girl would do. Um I wouldn't do it. I have African parents, and somebody would have showed their African mama, and it would have gotten back to my African parents. They sent parents. you back to Ghana. And I'd have <laughs> been on with your the grandma. first plane to <laughs> yeah, Ghana. They sent you like, back. No, I'm not allowed to do this stuff. You, oh, nope. you, you're going to get on the internet and talk like this. No. Uh-uh. Uh, is this how is this how a doctor or a lawyer talks? No, and I didn't become either of that. But the, the point is, you just can't do you can't do one time. Uh, side story. I love one African One time, parents. I was walking home from school in the dead of winter. And I think I had a pen and I had the pen in my mouth. And you know, when you exhale outside and it's cold, like it looks like smoke is coming out of your mouth. Somebody's mama's uncle happened oh, you to were drive by <laughs> seeing me exhale. I was not smoking. I was exhaling. Was it was sm- snowing. She was, she was smoking. It was snowing. I was like 16. She it was, was snowing. I exhaled because that's what you do. You're breathing out the hot air from your 98 degree body into cold air and you get, it, it looks like smoke. I wasn't smoking. Somebody called my mom. No, called my dad, who then called my mom and, and said, I, they saw, hey, I was driving and I saw Jessica, she was smoking. Oh, she Jessica was, was not smoking. Oh, she was, she was pu- smoking. No, she, she wasn't. Was smoking. She was cold. She was puffing. She was smoking. Them, what, what, what Pop say on Friday? She was smoking them tweeds. I wasn't smoking anything. <laughs> I wasn't smoking anything. Rest so in yeah, peace, as a fresher girl, peace. I personally could not go on an f bomb tangent on Snapchat, but this young girl did, um, and she ended up getting. I guess she was on the junior. She made the junior varsity team because of this tangent. It, it got back to the school, and then I guess the school board. She then was. Um, suspended from the junior varsity team which she was on because it didn't her response her post did not align with the school's code of conduct which i guess they have every student sign and she was like okay yeah i signed it but i didn't realize it was going to take away my my freedom of speech so you know went to the school board you know her dad did an interview and he was like i don't appreciate the school board coming into my home I was kind of like, so you're cool with your girl just like going on F-bomb tangents at 15 on Snapchat. Whatever. Your prerogative. Everybody parents differently. It's sparking conversation because depending on how the Supreme Court rules on this, it's going to affect how bullying is treated and cyberbullying is treated. Like if if someone doesn't bully you on school, pro- if the Supreme Court supports this, then they're saying that someone has the right essentially to bully you off of school property uh, because it's their right to say what they want to say. Now, if they don't support this and they rule against it, that means, you know, they're infringing upon freedom of speech. So it really, you know, the reason why I got interest in it, one, I'm a parent, and eventually our kids are going to be old enough that they might get into situations like this. You know, our five-year-old asked for a TikTok, and I was like, little girl, what you going to do with TikTok? Wait, when, when did this you, happen? In the car the other day. I think I picked her up from school, and she was like, Mommy, I need to get a phone. And I was like, why do you need a phone? You have a tablet. And she was like, well, I need a phone so I can use TikTok. And I was like... What you going to what do you even know what TikTok is? And she was like, "No, but I need a phone so I can do it." And I was like, "Okay, I don't know where you heard about TikTok, but no." I'm about to cancel the damn internet. <laughs> so, because we have growing children, eventually that 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 could TikTok. be I pray mm-hmm. that that's not an issue cuz I don't know how I'm going to respond if my kid gets bullied. I also don't know how I'm going to respond if my kid happens to be the bullier cuz you never you have to think about it both ways. Like, you might be raising a the mean bu- kid. The, the, the bully. Not the, the bu- not the bullier. It's the bully. The, the bully. The, the, the bully. The bully. Yeah, your kid is the bully, not the bullier. So, you know, there's the bullied and the bullier. <laughs> I'm I sorry. I, 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 I didn't I appreciate it. you correcting me because I, I was going to, I was going to roll with it. Yeah. There's only so much, as much as an involved parent as you are, the way technology has advanced kids, these, these kids, it's like they have like these secret meetings to figure things out. So I am intrigued in this because I am curious 
you know, how is this going to affect me as a parent yeah. uh, and my children as they're yeah. engaging with people and they're, you know, making friends or not making friends? And, and what are people saying and how is that going? So, you know, and then it got me thinking, like, what exactly is freedom of speech? Because it's definitely polarizing. We say, you know, freedom of speech, freedom to to congregate, freedom to, to protest, all of this stuff. But, you know, there are limitations. And, you know, it makes you one. There are so many countries that you can't speak against the government. You can't, you know, you can't do this. But for the most part, their their civilizations are free. Their, their people and populations are free. So I guess I wonder, like, what my type of personality from and, and from, make, from what I understand, I have very limited thoughts on this. I, I would actually uh, like to see what the Supreme Court rules first and then react to it. But I think uh, this speaks to a bigger issue that um, uh, could could that is access to technology for our young kids and them not necessarily knowing healthy ways to express their feelings and their frustrations. Right. And not being taught and not having those 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 outlets, not knowing how to deal with those emotions, because mm -hmm. when you're young and you're, you're a teenager, you I mean, you're not you're still developing and your your brain doesn't develop until like, what, 20, 24 or whatever. For guys, they say it's 25. Yeah. So uh, I, I think and I think that all of that is a part of mental health, which is something that in this country we don't take seriously enough. Uh, and I, I think that's definitely a part of it. So I'm, I'm worried that we have a generation really a culture of people who don't know how to properly deal or, you know, release their frustrations or how to, how to handle their emotions. Um, and you get, you know, mass shootings, yeah. <laughs> you get, uh, you know, disgruntled employees. disgruntled employees, you get kids on Snapchat cussing, cussing people out F this, F that, F you, F her, F him. So I think, I don't know what the solution is. Uh, I think one, you know, maybe acknowledgement from the highest office in the land that we have a mental health crisis in this country and maybe giving, you know, putting more fun, maybe not putting the trillions or billions of dollars into our defense budget and maybe putting some money into those eight, those, um, those of those agencies that already exist to be able to, uh, to, to kind of curb or, or help alleviate the, the mental health crisis we have in this country. Um, you know, we saw Trump, I mean, because our friend, our friend uh, Deborah, you know, she has friends who work for the government. We saw a lot of those um, departments get their funding pulled when, when Trump was president because they weren't non-essential. I guess is, I mean, those words are getting thrown around these days. So, um, you know, funding some, some more of those so that they can, you know, that they can do what what they do when they're specialized and in even arts programs like arts programs yeah sleep on the arts like arts it comes with self-expression like that's another way of expressing yourself so absolutely so i think it's it's unfortunate that you know she was obviously disappointed and she felt that she was wronged and the only way that she knew how to deal with it was to do what she did mm -hmm. you know parents are humans too and parents are dealing with mental health issues as well um so not everybody's going to get it right and these kids are wild. Like they're not <laughs> kids, built the same. Kids, kids are wild, but but I, I don't want to completely like rid you know parents of responsibility. Yourself. Like absolutely, we got to make sure that we're doing best, but doing doing good by our kids. Uh, but I think it's all, all around is just unfortunate. But I, I would be, I am interested to see what what the Supreme Court rules, and um, you know what the fallout is going to be. But we definitely have to, you know, do better by our kids and and, and teach them better ways to deal with the disappointment and the, and the frustration because that's that ain't it it's not yeah going through some growing pains yeah none but some growing pains yeah